Good morning, party people. It is currently Monday. As you can see, I'm already freshly showered. Oh my God, there's a, oh, I don't know if I can show that. That's a dead squirrel right there. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that's a great way to start the morning is to see a little dead squirrel. What the fuck is that? But um, today is Monday, you know, doesn't seem like it's gonna be a bad Monday so far. So uh, looking forward to that. Had a pretty decent weekend, you know. It's sad to see the weekend go, but that's how it is. You know, you gotta start fresh, start new things, get the week started, get your money up, not your funny up. Today we will be going to the gym as we took a two day rest day. So today we will be hitting shoulders and a little bit of arms today. And you know, the normal. And I will be taking not this car, the other car, so I will be able to stay there the full time that I need to stay there. Everything will get done. Nothing will be missed. And yeah. It's gonna be pretty tasty of a pretty nasty workout we have today. But other than that, I don't have much else to say. I hope everyone's having a good start of their week. Hope everyone's having a good week. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I hope they're well rested and ready to get the work week, you know, ready. And if you're resting now, I hope you're having a great time resting. Other than that, I don't have much else to say, and uh, I'll see you when I get out of work. Peace. <laughs> All right, what is going on, everybody? Hold on, let me make sure I got this angle at the best angle it can be. There it is. All right, so just got out of work. In the car, I need to be for, you know, going to the gym. Um, making the dextrose drink as we speak. Dextrose. Needed, needed. So, what did we eat today? For breakfast, we had our regular protein shake, 20 grams of protein. Uh, I think it's like 90 calories. Like, uh, we had, um, for lunch, we had beef jerky, 100 calories. Uh, a Nutri-Green bar. What else? Um, we had a Pop-Tart, it was like 360 calories, I don't even remember. What else did we have? I think that was it for lunch. And we had like, probably like three, four pieces of candy. Nothing too crazy, you know, something, something to keep us going. So now we're gonna go hit the gym. Today is shoulder and a little bit of arms. So we're gonna go knock that out of the park because I honestly just wanna get home and get on Call of Duty. I'm not lying, being 100% honest. And then we're gonna eat our factory meal, which we probably should have a delivery. It's some should be delivered by the time we get home. Then we will stop at Chick-fil-A and get 12 grilled nuggets when we get out of the gym. So let's go ahead and just make our way over to the gym. It's gonna be a nice little workout. I got everything I need. So not missing nothing. I hope everyone's having a good Monday, a good Tuesday, whatever it may be, whenever you see this, you know, keep your head up always. You know, go to the gym, whether it be once a week, twice a week, every day of the week, you know, try to be active as much as you can, you know, don't, don't waste your body, don't let it, don't let your body die. But other than that, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Alright, so, currently just got out of the gym, it's currently, oh my, 7, I can't even see these windows are so foggy, it's 7.06, so, it ain't too late to around what we usually get out, but one thing that I will say, Holy fuck, my windows. One thing that I will say is, um, I don't know why, but today got like hella dark, hella early. Like any other day we would have been in any other car. If we would have been in the stain, we would have been cooked. They literally got pitch black at six o'clock PM. Like, so, just trying to make sure y'all don't fall. So it's definitely good that we uh, took initiative to switch cars and you know get that handled and it's currently raining too a little bit it seems like but uh definitely a valid ass fucking workout you know we went deep into shoulders yet again you know we did shoulders friday but why not why not tackle it again on monday you know we want bolder shoulders and there's only one way to do that once we get bolder shoulders we're gonna hit chest twice a, bit, a week or twice yeah but uh i'm about to head to chick-fil-a food is already ordered so nothing crazy nothing new but i will say i definitely 
went through my workout faster, but there are so many fucking people. I don't know what it is about fucking, what's today, Monday? I don't know why everybody wants to go to the fucking gym on Monday, because there was hella people. I'm talking like loaded, like hella fucking people in there. Like, I, like, it's just, I don't even want to talk about it. So that kind of slows me down. Which is fine, you know, I don't really, you know, I'm patient, I'll wait, but when I tried to wait and I got cooked. But, uh, let's start off with what we did first. We started off with our, hold on. We started off with our barbell shoulder press here. Let's see if that'll focus in there. It's gonna focus. The camera's gonna do its job, right? The camera will do its job, I promise. Alright, alright, there it is. Barbell, uh, shoulder press, we did that with 60. We did four reps, 10 sets, all nice and clean, nice and slow, nice and controlled. I'm thinking maybe Friday we can bump up to the 70 barbell. We'll see, we'll see. But, you know, that was nice, clean, nothing too crazy. And then we moved on to the dumbbell. Basically what we were doing is we would do the, the barbell shoulder press and then we would do dumbbell front raises right, literally like, you know, right after it. So that we actually went absolutely stupid. First set of dumbbell front raises was 20 pounds. I don't think I've done 20 pounds ever, honestly. So it's a good upgrade for our shoulders. Sorry, I just made a turn. So a good upgrade for our shoulders. Went 20 pounds, 10, four reps. Ugh. First set we did 10 reps, 20 pounds. And then second set we did I think 15 pounds, 12, 15 pounds, 10 reps. Third set we did, I'm trying to think. I think third set we did 15 again for 10 reps. Then fourth set, I think we tried like 20. I think I actually ended off the fourth rep, or fourth set with 20 pounds for the dumbbell front raises, so. It was nice and clean, you know. I felt I was really feeling the burn on the shoulders there, which is what I've been looking for for quite a while now. So I'm glad uh, that's all working out there. Whoa! I know y'all heard that. This fucking mini coupe, no lights on, no lights on. That's a mini me right there. No lights on, scurrying on, scurrying off. Motherfucker thought we were gonna race or something. No, it's not even a me. That's a punch buggy. Motherfucking punch buggy, dog. Like what the fuck? Oh nah. You're not gonna, yeah, bro. And then you're gonna turn on your fucking lights, dog. Motherfucker has no lights on. Motherfucker's literally me. But, uh, okay. So then we did dumbbell rear delt fly there. See that? We did that. You know, I think we started off with a good, I'm pretty sure we started off with 15. Yeah, we started off with 15 for the, oop. Oh, 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 something happened. Something happened here. It's like a little police officer. Put my phone down. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Bro, how do you, how do you, how does that happen? Tell me. How do you get your car like that? How do you get your car like that? Tell me, I need to know. I need to know how you get your car up there. That's just some, what the fuck? What the fuck? How do you get your truck like that? That's what I need to know. How do I get my truck like that? When I get a truck. Ooh. All right, but we're at um fucking, we're at Chick-fil-A, so I'm gonna put y'all down. I'm gonna go in, grab the food, and I'll be right back. It's not zooming in, but that's fine. Be focused. All right, all right, all right. Just got out of Chick-fil-A. You know, had a little audience, so I had to say uh, congr congratulations to my boy Dylan. He was like basically my manager, direct area director, whatever you want to call him. He was, I known him for a fat ass minute ever since I was little. Like I would play with him outside and shit like that. And you know, when I got a job at Chick-fil-A, like basically kind of like we met. And yeah, you know, I had to, he's getting married, so I had to con congr congratulate him, you know, like, you know, bro's growing, bro's, bro's getting grown, man. So, but other, uh, but uh, regarding that, let's get to the subject of why the fuck we're here and why the fuck we're watching this YouTube video. So then after whatever the fuck I left off on, we went into, did I even, I, had, I don't know if I said this or not, but we went into dumbbell, 
uh, rear fly flies. We started off, I think, 15s. Then we did 10. First set was 15. Second set was 10. Third set was 10. Fourth set was 15. All sets had 10 reps. Nice, easy, slow, committed. Okay. So then next, today we went crazy on the standing dumbbell Arnold press. Absolutely dumb. We started off with 30. We did 30 for the first set. We did 30 for the second set. We did 30 for the third set. 10 reps. For the fourth set, we picked up the 35s. Five reps. Dropped them. Picked up 20, 25s. Finished the set off. Easy. Four sets, 10 reps. Standing dumbbell Arnold press. Easy. So then we also did dumbbell la 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 la, la around the world. Y'all see that? Dumbbell around the world. Easy. I think we only did it with five pounds. I'm thinking Friday we move up to 10. Get them shoulders really fucking working. First set, 10 reps, five pounds. Second set, 10 reps, five pounds. Third set, 10 reps, five pounds. Fourth set, 10 reps, five pounds. Easy, slow. We were struggling, no lie. All right, let's see what else. So then we wanted to basically wrap up all of our dumbbell stuff before we went on to the bar again or before we went back up to uh, cables. So then after that we did dumbbell bicep curls. You see that? I'm trying to even remember what the fuck I did. I'm pretty sure I started off with 25. Yeah, I think first set, 25, 10 reps. Second set, 30, 10 reps. Third set, 30, 10 reps. Fourth set, I'm pretty sure 35, 10 reps if I'm not confused. I'm pretty sure. I'm more than 100%. More than 100% getting a little headache. I need to go home, bro. I need to get home, dog. I need to get home. All right. So then we also went in. Our last uh, dumbbell workout would be uh, 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 the dumbbell shoulder shrugs. Some slight for real. Dumbbell shoulder shrugs. First, I think we started off light as fuck. We started off with 15 pounds. 15 pounds, first rep, second rep, 35, no, 40, second rep, 40 pounds, no, second set, 40 pounds, 10 reps, third set, what the fuck am I saying, second set, 40 fucking pounds, 10 reps of the, the shoulder, the shoulder shrugs, I'm tweaking, dog. I'm tweaking. I can't even get words out. All right. Slow and calm. Third set. Pretty sure it was 30 pounds. 10 reps. Fourth set. We went stupid. Picked up the 50s. 50 pounds. 10 reps for the fourth set on dumbbell shoulder shrugs nice and easy and I for the shoulder shrugs you want I at least make sure if you don't know how to do shoulder shrugs properly if you think you're not doing shoulder shrugs properly go on fucking TikTok look up look up how to do shoulder shrugs even just look up shoulder shrugs a motherfucker will tell you how to do that shit properly because I wasn't doing that shit properly until I looked it up you kind of want to stand up straight and then you want to angle your back just kind of barely but still angle it and kind of squeeze at the top you want to squeeze at the top you don't want to just lift it up and lift it right back down that works for some people but it's good you, you're gonna get way more out of it if you squeeze at the top of that shoulder shrug and hold it for like a second or two I, I promise you I'm not letting you down I promise you it'll work dude I have the biggest I don't even know what the fuck these are called but these things are like the biggest things on my fucking body I swear to god but uh anyways 
Oh my god, I didn't do back extensions. Holy dick fucking riding. Holy shit, I forgot to do back extensions. <sighs> Anyways. So then we went into the barbell uh, workouts. We have barbell up, all right, barbell upright row right there. I don't know if it's zooming in. Barbell upright row. So we only did, we just used a 35 barbell and we did four sets of 35, 10 reps. We didn't change the weight. We were getting a nice burn. So I just said, fuck it, you know. Maybe I'm still getting, you know, feeling it from what I did Friday. So I said, fuck it, we'll go with this way. I was getting a crazy burn, so I was like, fuck it, you know. Why the fuck would I go up weight if I'm getting a crazy burn with this lower weight? All right, so then after that, we did reverse barbell curl. I don't know if it's zooming in there. Kind of bumpy and shit. We did it with the exact same weight, 35 pounds. We did the exact same thing, four sets, 10 reps nice easy as well we were getting the same burn so i said fuck it we're not gonna go up weight might as well not and i'm gonna go into the gas station real quick uh grab this dr pepper for my girlfriend and grab a couple things for me i'll see you on a bro so i just got back from the fucking gas station and like i like this gas station basically like i like to call it my local gas station like really close to my house like under 10 minute drive and you know i pass it every day to go to work i'm in it like almost a lot like i basically know the i don't know the people in there you know i know name i know a couple names and you know stuff like that i don't personally know them but it's one of those things where you just see them so often where you like just tell yourself yeah i know you dog so like you know i'm out to check out about to check out and shit and this motherfucker talking about some he's got like a basket of vapes like right there at the checkout and he's talking about some uh we got babes here three for nine dollars we got babes here three for nine dollars and i'm like so confused because the first time he said it, i was just like like what what did you just say i was and the, uh, the first thing that came to my head is like i don't even vape so why are, how, why are you assuming that i vape <laughs> why are you assuming that i vape like that's kind of i don't know how i feel about that one a little stereotype there but i'm not i don't really give a fuck but you know i know a lot of kids my age is vape and you know i smoke so you know correlations but he's like three for nine three for nine i'm like no thank you bro no thank you i was i literally told him i was like loki if my girl would have been here she probably would have caught them up but not me brother you ain't getting me brother fuck that i don't know what the fuck is in them base dog <laughs> three for 99 what y'all trying to get rid of them for fuck they sell them hoes at the fucking vape stop for fucking like 30. all right but before i walked in i noticed that i didn't do back extensions so rip our back jk jk what is it tomorrow so we missed our reverse pec deck uh machine we didn't get to do it it was busy the entire fucking time dog like from when i fucking needed to get on it i did hella other shit i did cardio i went to the sauna i got out of the sauna and it was still still people on it a gang a gang of fucking people on it like bro y'all need to chill you need to fucking chill but uh let's see so we did after that. Let's see, let's see. So then we went to the cables and we did rope face pulls. And honestly, like I was like confused at first on how to do this rope face pull. I know the the rope face pull, but I didn't know if I needed to have the cable at an angle, like higher angle than my head, or if it should be lower. But I had no choice today but do it to do it at a higher angle because this type of cable you can't move. It's just the one that's like set there. So I had no choice but to do it at a higher angle, you know. I'm doing, I did it all at a higher angle. I don't remember what the weight was. It wasn't nothing crazy. I was probably doing like first set was probably like maybe 20, second set it was maybe 30, third set maybe 40, and then fifth, fourth set was probably around 50. 50 or 45 maybe i don't i don't know it, the, the thing is like worn off it doesn't show me how much weight it's just like gone it's like eroded away but um that was pretty chill and then when i was doing this other cable when i had to switch over to the other cable because that one didn't move i saw a personal trainer showing another lady how to do the rope face pulls so then she was doing them basically how i was doing them and she even set up the cable at a higher angle than your head so that you can like you know pull it down to you so i'm glad that i'm doing that right you know i'm glad i'm doing something right for once you know so then after the rope face pulls we went on to go do a little bit of a cable lateral raise here for our shoulders 
right there y'all see that i know y'all see it we did that pretty light i think we did 10 pounds uh for every set you know it's you know you know a set every arm so one set on the right one set on the left two two set on the right two set on the left three set on the right three set on the left four set on the right three set on the left four set on the left so 10 reps on each arm i only did 10 pounds i was feeling it so i'm still that is probably one uh, workout that i do want to improve on i want to see a little bit more improvement throughout the weeks even friday i want to see more improvement with myself on friday with that workout because i feel like i think i did it at five pounds a week before but doing it at 10 now wasn't too bad getting that burn you know it would be not too crazy so then after that cable lateral raises we went on to do uh overhead bicep curls we do them one at a time because there's never enough room like we do one arm at a time because there's never enough room to no one's ever leaving two no one's ever leaving two cables opening right next to each other like that's just not happening they're using one or they're using both like one person's on that one and then another person's on that one so i just use one cable because i'm not even gonna bother you know if you want to do that shit with you know at the same time you either gonna go find another gym or go at a later time or earlier because that's what i used to do too but um did that on uh did one blah, 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 dude i can't talk again I'm, i think i'm getting hungry dog so for everhead bicep curls i think we started off with uh 20 we start off with 20 first set 30 second set 40 third set then we went back down to probably like 20 for the fourth set to kind of get that i don't know i think we did a, a heavy a heavy fourth set i think we would i think we did a 50 uh set on the last set and everything is 10 reps on that you know 10 reps on each arm like i said before right left right left right left right left you always want to make sure you're not giving one side more than the other and this has to do with absolutely everything you do in the gym you know you don't you know want to put too much power when you're lifting uh when you're benching on the right side because your bench will come out dumb or your fucking bicep your fucking not bicep your fucking chest will come out dumb you want to make sure everything's equal balance every side looks the same you know every side pulls the same you know you don't want to have one light one arm pulling 30 pounds and then the other arm only pulling 20 you know you got to make sure you're you're pulling the same way you know because i've met a lot of motherfuckers like that i used to be a motherfucker like that that my left arm was like weak as fuck but my right arm could move a mountain you know that's just that's just sad <laughs> shit's sad as fuck bro because as soon as i lose my right arm i'm cooked my left arm is nothing like i can't do shit with it so then I think that actually wraps it up for the workouts because we missed two things which either we'll do tomorrow or we'll do on Friday you know like I said we do this same workout twice a week so after all that after the working out stuff we bumped up cardio to 20 minutes and I feel like it did more I also feel like I obviously burn more calories because I don't know someone once told me that 15 minutes isn't enough 15 minutes is just like you're not even breaking the barrier yet so ever since then I've been kind of like wary on like how much cardio I do and I also don't want to do overdo cardio because I'm not I don't feel like I'm taking enough calories to sit on a fucking treadmill for 30 minutes but who knows maybe you know I don't want to I don't want to lose too much weight I need to build up the weight first and once I get like everything muscled up then then we can probably do 30 minutes cardio but right now i'm not really trying to lose no weight i'm trying to muscle i'm trying to turn the every fat i have on my body to muscle so but like i said we bumped up cardio to 20 minutes and i definitely did feel a difference and you know calorie i definitely burn more calories i sweat way more i feel like when i'm 15 like as soon as it hits 15 it's just when i just start sweating and i put it on the highest incline i go 15 incline three speed like i'm not doing no goofy shit i'm not on like zero incline and no speed you know i'm on hella high incline the highest incline it'll go and on three speed so we did 20 minutes a day felt good felt great sweated my ass off <laughs> felt that then we hopped in the sauna 
good little 15 minutes. I don't really think I'm gonna ever change the sauna. Maybe one, maybe if I'm feeling a little fucking goofy, I'll go in there for 20 minutes, but I think I'm gonna leave it at 15 minutes for the time being, unless anything changes or anything, unless I hear something or read something that makes me change my mind. But other than that, I don't really have much else to say. It was honestly a great day. I didn't, don't have any complaints. It was a great workout as well. Work was chill, workout was chill. Now it's time to relax, get the feast in, take our supplements, and get ready for tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm, about to, I'm literally about to be home. I'm about to pull up in the driveway. And uh, I'll see y'all when I have either showered or am getting the feast ready. See y'all in a bit, peace. All right, so we made it to the crib. No injuries, no troubles, no tickets, nothing like that. I already picked out the meal. I think I'm gonna go with the honey mustard chicken today. It's got uh, 560 calories, 39 grams of protein. It's got some potatoes in there with it. You know, it doesn't really look too bad. I think I've had it before, so I know what I'm looking forward to. And I'm also gonna slide in this 42 grams of Core Life Power Elite. I'm gonna go ahead and just fuck this up before I hop in the shower. So that means I'm gonna go hop in the shower, drink this before I hop in, then when I hop out of the shower, we'll come back with all the feasts. See you in a second. All right, so the feast is ready, the grub is ready. I got it all right here. So what we got, hold on, let me make sure I'm grabbing this thing right. So what we got to start is we got the honey mustard chicken. You know, I feel like this fucking chicken filet fucking shrunk, but besides the business, got some little honey mustard right here. Looks like asparagus in there, some tomato, not tomatoes, um, potatoes in there. So I don't know if I said this, but I'm gonna start eating one avocado a day and I might boost it up to two. It, you know, like I said before, it's an uh, avocado is a testosterone superfood. It helps with testosterone levels and you know, gives my uh, body that cholesterol, which is the building block for testosterone. Then we have grilled 12 nuggets, you know, from Chick-fil-A. We also came in clutch, which we probably shouldn't have, but we fucking did. Honey pepper uh, with grilled filet. Then my girlfriend just, slid these two fries one medium fry from wendy's one large fry from wendy's then i never actually drank this core life out the when i before i took a shower so i'm gonna drink that and then i have this rain and i have this bag of chips here but i don't know if i'm gonna eat it i didn't even add it in the 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 fitness pal because i was just like i don't even know if i'm gonna get to that but let's go through what we ate today let's go through it all so this morning we had a, a protein shake one scoop, 90 calories, 20 grams of protein. Then we had some Jack Link's original beef jerky, 100 calories. Then for lunch, we had a Pop-Tart frosted cherry, 370 calories, which is absolutely insane. Then we had a strawberry Nutri-Grain bar, 130 calories. Then for dinner, what I just went through. And, you know, we drank our water, stuff like that. We're at negative... 940 so we went over we ate 940 more calories than we were supposed to which is just fine you know i'm not really you know 2300 is good for like you know but if i go over a little bit i'm not stressing you know it's for me in my head i think when i eat more it's good you know i'm giving my body more more fuel to work on more more fuel to give the body to make more muscles so i'm not gonna complain but uh, other than that, you know, of course, I will be taking all my supplements. You know, we got zinc, one of the zinc, one of bile 10, two of the omega-3, two of the fish oil, two of the ashwagandha, one of the dim. Nothing new. We'll be taking that probably at halfway through this meal. I'll probably eat half of this stuff and then be like, all right, let me take my supplements, take my supplements, eat the rest of it. But uh, other than that, today, like I said before, was a very nice day. No complaints. Nice work day. Nice gym day. And now it's time to rest up and chill. But uh, if y'all enjoyed the video, y'all make sure to leave a like. And uh, if y'all want to see more of my natty life experiences, y'all make sure to drop a subscribe. You know, drop a comment too. I want to hear all y'all's thoughts and comments and whatever. Peace though.